Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Deepika Malik. I'm back with the next session of microscopic techniques and in this video we'll discuss dark field microscopy. The dark field microscopy makes use of dark field microscope, a special type of compound light microscope. Dark field microscopy works on the principle of scattering. It involves illuminating the specimen with oblique or off axis light causing the specimen to appear bright against a dark background. This technique enhances the contrast and visibility of specimens with low intrinsic contrast. Principle involves oblique illumination, a specially designed dark field condenser with a central circular stop directs oblique or off axis light onto the specimen from the sides at an angle, preventing direct light from entering the objective lens as you can see here in the diagram. This is the oblique or off axis light that is coming from the sides and is unable to come from the center due to the presence of this opaque disc. Blocking direct light, the condenser's design includes a central stop or an opaque disc that blocks the direct light and would typically enter the objective lens as in bright field microscopy. Scattered light, when light passes through a specimen, transparent structures reflect or scatter the light in various directions. Scattered light collection, the scattered light rays from the specimen are collected by the objective lens and form the image. This scattered light forms bright images against a dark background. Contrast enhancement, the scattered light rays generate strong contrast between the specimen and the dark background, making it easier to observe transparent structures that would otherwise be difficult to see. Enhanced visibility, transparent specimens like live microorganisms or very thin sections become visible due to the scattering of light that occurs as light interacts with structures within the specimen. The next slide discuss what kind of samples can be viewed by dark field microscopy. Dark field microscopy is particularly well suited for observing specimens that are transparent, translucent, unstained or have low intrinsic contrast that would be difficult to see under traditional bright field illumination. Opaque or heavily pigmented samples do not scatter light effectively, so they might not provide sufficient contrast for clear observation using dark field illumination. Stains interfere with techniques contrast enhancing effect. However, optical contrast is still important in dark field microscopy. Optical contrast refers to the difference in intensity or brightness between the specimen and its surrounding background. In dark field microscopy, this contrast is crucial for distinguishing the specimen from the dark background and for visualizing details within the specimen. The next slide discusses part of dark field microscopy. It is very much similar to the bright field microscopy. Light source in dark field microscopy, the light source is typically a bright light such as halogen lamp which directs light towards the condenser. Diaphragm. In a dark field microscope, the condenser is equipped with a special annular diaphragm or a central stop that allows only oblique or off axis light to pass through the specimen. This unique diaphragm setup is crucial for creating the dark background and bright specimen images characteristic of dark field microscopy. Condenser. The condenser collects and focuses light onto the specimen. Specimen holder or stage. The stage holds the specimen in place and allows for precise positioning under the objective lens. It can be equipped with mechanical controls for moving the specimen horizontally and vertically. Objective lens. The objective lens gathers the scattered light from the specimen and forms the magnified image. The angle of scattered light is adjusted by the dark field condenser allowing only the scattered light to enter the objective. Nose piece. The nose piece holds and allows for easy switching between different objective lenses. Eyepiece or ocular lens is the lens through which the observer looks to view the magnified image produced by the objective lens. It often contains a magnification factor to further enhance the image. Coarse and fine focus knobs. Coarse and fine focus controls are used to adjust the focus of the objective lens to achieve a sharp image of the specimen. Applications of dark field microscopy. Microbiology. Live microorganisms. 
Dark field microscopy is crucial for observing the live microorganisms such as bacteria, protozoa and small aquatic organisms. It allows researchers to study their morphology, behavior and movement without the need for staining or fixation. Parasite detection in parasitology. Dark field is used for detecting and observing parasites such as blood-borne parasites like plasmodium species that causes malaria. Aquatic sciences, small aquatic organisms. Dark field is employed to study microorganisms in aquatic environments such as plankton and algae. It helps researchers understand aquatic ecosystems and food webs. Material science, particle analysis. Dark field microscope is used for examining transparent particles, nanoparticles and microcrystals in material science. It aids in understanding particle morphology and distribution. In life sciences, dark field microscopy can be used to visualize cellular processes. In hematology, dark field is applied in blood cell analysis allowing the visualization of blood cells and their characteristics without staining. It's useful for studying cell shapes, size and anomalies. Dark field microscopy can reveal details in thin tissue sections that might be difficult to observe using bright field. It enhances visualization of transparent structures in histological specimens. Education and research. Dark field microscopy is an effective educational tool for demonstrating the behavior of microorganisms and the principles of scattered light. Research tool. It's used to study the motility, morphology and behavior of microorganisms aiding in research related to microbiology and cellular biology. Quality control. Dark field microscopy is employed in the pharmaceutical industry for quality control and particle analysis of transparent drugs and formulations. Geology. Dark field is used in the study of transparent mineral inclusions and microstructures in geological samples. The next slide shows differences between bright field and dark field microscopy. Bright field microscopy, illumination. In bright field microscopy, the specimen is illuminated with direct axial light that passes through the specimen and enters the objective lens. The background appears bright and the specimen appears darker due to absorption of light by the specimen. Whereas in dark field microscopy, it uses oblique or off-axis illumination. The light is directed at an angle to the specimen and only scattered light enters the objective lens. The background appears dark and the specimen appears bright due to scattered light. Contrast mechanism. Contrast in bright field microscopy relies on differences in absorption and refractive index of the specimen components. Stained specimens and those with inherent color or density variations provide contrast. Contrast in dark field microscopy is generated by the scattering of light by transparent or low contrast specimens. This scattered light creates brightness against a dark background. Specimen visibility. Bright field microscopy is suitable for specimens that are dense and have inherent contrast such as stained tissue sections or cells. It's not well suited for transparent or low contrast specimens. Dark field microscopy is ideal for observing transparent, low contrast or unstained specimens. It enhances visibility of live microorganisms, small aquatic organisms and thin sections that lack inherent contrast. Application. Bright field microscopy is widely used for routine observation of prepared slides, clinical diagnosis, histology and examining stained biological specimen. Whereas dark field microscopy is used for observing live microorganisms, transparent particles, phase objects and specimens that are difficult to observe under bright field illumination. It's valuable in microbiology, parasitology and material sciences. In the next session, we'll discuss fluorescence microscopy in detail. Thank you for watching. For any doubts or query, you can contact me through the given email ID.